hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and this is the channel where we do all things african print so today's diy project is going to be on how to make this lined toiletry bag so without wasting time let's get straight into the video so this is my fabric I've already cut it to the dimensions that I've showed you. Then the next thing was to join all of the six pieces together. So I just went on and I sewed them on the sewing machine just like that. Then next I took my lining fabric and then I put it on a flat surface and then I took my African print fabric which I had already joined into pieces. Then I just laid it on top of my lining fabric like that. Then I put some pins and then I started cutting. Yeah, so when I'm done cutting that is how the lining looks like and then after that I now take the same lining and then I put it on top of the fabric lying face down so that the right sides are facing each other then I just went ahead and I sewed right around the shape and I will leave one space open which I will use to turn it inside out And after that I now took my interfacing, this is the really hard interfacing, so I lined it after I'd already sewed the pieces together because I thought if I sew it together with the fabric pieces it might be too thick. So I tried to iron it on top of the fabrics after I've already sewed them. And then I tried to make sure that it was not too big or overlapping the fabric and then I just went ahead and I turned that inside out. This was a little bit hard because some of the lining was coming off at some points but I just worked through it and then I turned it inside out and I had to be really gentle when I was doing this you guys. So if you want, if you're not using like a really hard interface, you can just iron it together with your fabric pieces. Then after turning it inside out, I now took my iron and then I just pressed it out and made sure everything was nice and smooth. So that is what I hid and then now I went on to fold in the raw edges of the part where I, which I used to turn it inside out Then I just folded in the edges and ironed like that. I also folded in the edges of the lining and then I ironed. Then I now started to put all the edges together to form the box, just putting pins. So I had four edges and then I just went on ahead and I sewed that on the sewing machine. Then when I was done sewing, I turned it inside out and then I took my iron and I started pressing out the edges to make sure that they are nice and crisp.
so as you can see it already looks like a nice lined box then now I took my zipper and I started inserting the zipper first I just put pins right round And then afterwards I now took my my thread and then I started tucking the zip down before I go to sew to help me so that the zipper will stay in place when I sew it on the machine. So there I was basically done tucking the top part and the bottom part of the zip then I just went ahead and I sewed that on the sewing machine Then the last step of course is to remove that tacking thread. I used this green thread so I just took my seam ripper and I started taking out that thread. So as you can see now the zip closes nicely after sewing. Then for my handle I just took this 6 cm by 3 cm fabrics. Then this was about, about a 2 inch wide strip of interfacing then I'll just iron it onto the center of the little fabric and then I would iron in the edges and I did this for two pieces which I now then took and then I placed them facing each other making sure the, the lining is inside and then I went on and I sewed both edges on the sewing machine and after that I stitched it onto the top of the toiletry bag And after stitching, I added some buttons. I also added this um, feature onto the zipper, like a zipper tag. If you'd like a tutorial on how to make this zipper tag, please let me know so that in my next video, I will show you guys how to do that. And of course, the last step was to put those two buttons. I don't know if you can see them properly because they're kind of blending into the fabric, but I put some two large cover buttons there to cover to hide the stitching of the handle do have another square pouch sort of toilet bag video and i'm going to put in the video link in the video i'm also going to put it in the comment section so that you guys can check it out thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye